Did I ever tell you about that time I got cheated on by one of my clients? So I get a phone call one day and it's an out of state client. He's looking to move to Georgia. He just got a job and he's selling his house out of state. I talked to his lender. He already had a loan. He was well qualified. This is a no brainer. He's gonna buy a house or he's gonna be homeless. He asked me to do some virtual tours with him. Absolutely, I will. We go out, I've got my phone and I've got him on Zoom and I'm showing him the house. He's so observant. He noticed things about the house before I even noticed. And like, wow, what an observant guy. So finally, I show him a house one day and he's like, Don, I want you to write an offer on this house. And I'm like, absolutely, I will. So I get on the phone and I call the listing agent to tell her how great my client is. And I'm like, hey, my client's great. He's coming to work at the hospital. He's moving from out of state. His house is under contract. And she's like, hey, is your client's name Yes, how did you know this? Honey, he's already got another agent. So I get on the phone and I call this other agent and sure enough, she's already shown him the houses that I'm out showing him. Like, what's that? No wonder he was so observant. He'd already seen the house. So we call and confront the client and he's so apologetic. He's like, I'm so sorry, I didn't know what to do. I got in over my head. I just really need that house. So I ended up passing the client off to the original agent. She ended up sending me a referral fee for all of my effort, which she didn't have to do. I still felt cheated on.